Hello! And welcome to a bit of a different video today. It's me, Nock, and yeah, we are doing some Sudoku in an escape room. So, I recently bought um, Escape Simulator. I had a look at the demo and decided I would uh, give it a go. And weirdly enough, I haven't actually played any of the game yet. I was just looking at custom content and um, there was this um, Sudoku thing that sort of caught my eye. And I played the um, original introduction map for this map maker and it was, um, it was pretty neat. It was quite small um, outside of the tutorial, but I noticed that uh, the map maker had got some other ones as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's go back to some old school video making and make a video of me while I try and solve this Sudoku in a escape room or in an escape room, should I say. All right, so looking at the rules, we uh, the basic rules are there on the wall. There are also some extra um, restrictions on this puzzle. So we've got the palindrome Sudoku, which means any digits have got to be the same forwards and backwards on the line. We have the white dots, which means the numbers have to be consecutive between white dots. And then we have black dots, which means they are a ratio of two to one. So whichever is in, say, one set, say if we've got like a one on the left-hand side, we need to have a two on the other side, etc. As you can see, there are all of the um, instructions. So um, yeah, I'm quite interested to see. Oh, okay, this is very different to what we had before. Before we walked into a room, we had a, ca a cabinet and we just had some squares and bits and pieces. So, okay. Um, so we've got, oh, there's glass here as well. Okay. Uh, this is already looking interesting. So we've only got access to two rooms, is it? Because, yeah, I guess we've only got access to two rooms. We can't really see what's going in in the other rooms at the moment. Okay. So let's take a look to see what we have got. Have we got any numbers here at all that we can make out straight away? Well, we've got a nine there and a nine there. So that means this bottom row here has got to be a seven, eight, nine. We don't know which way around it goes, but what we do know is we can plop the eight down there just like that because the eight has to be in the middle whichever way around it goes. So that's going to be seven, eight. Does that offer anything else over here? Not at the moment. So we've got fives. Uh, we've got a one, five, two along the bottom. One, five, two. We've already got that. So we know there's a one and a two can't go anywhere in these squares here. Two can't go in here. We've got nothing on that palindrome there. So we don't know what's going to go in those spaces there. Other than we know it can't be a one, two, five, or nine. Two, five, or nine. Okay. Five and nine is not on the palindrome anyway. Nine goes at the bottom. Okay, so six has to go at the bottom in here. Six. We only can see a six. So there's a six somewhere along here. Now, oh, I think I meant to clip through that. So interestingly, let's think about this. We've got a double here, okay? And we know that only certain digits can be doubled. So it's, that can only be a one or a two, of which we know it can't be a one or a two because we've already got that there, and that can't be an eight. So this could be a three, a six, or a four. Three, a six, or a four. What about eights? Do we know anything about eights? Well, eights can't go at the bottom, so it could be a four eight there. Um, all right, this is a uh, this is a little bit more complex than I thought it might be. But sequential numbers there. What, what three sequential numbers have we got here? Seven, eight, six, seven, eight. So, okay, that's got to be six, seven, eight in the middle. Six, seven, eight in the middle will leave us a one, two, three, four. Yeah, three and a four. So three and a four is on this palindrome somewhere. We don't know which way round they go at the minute, but let's just put a three and a four there. So that means 
Because if it's... Uh, hmm. Three, four... Three, four... So we know on this bottom we have to have a three, a four... Three, a four... And a six. Three, four, six on the bottom here. Six, six. Well, it can't be a six there. And it can't be a three there. That's going to have to be the four, I think. If I'm doing this right, that's got to be a four. Because... No, the eight can't be on the palindrome. That could be a two. Be a two. Be a two there. And we need to put a two in the top. Okay, so that would make that a two. That would make that a two. So we've got a three, four, six, I said there, didn't I? Got a three and a four to go here somewhere. Three, four, that leaves us with a one, eight, seven. Seven. What's meant by these yellow cornered cells here? Oh, solve each cell with the yellow corners. Proceed to the next section. Open the door and exit the other. Okay, so we only need to necessarily open these to be able to progress further in the puzzle. So, what can we do here? Well, we know that a one can't go there, so the one and two looks like it's on the palindrome. Ah, okay. Okay. So we have made a bit of progress here. We've got access to one more room, it seems, at the moment. So let's see what we can do here. We've got a seven at the top. We don't know anything else about sevens here, though, do we? I'm uh, still not sure about this three and four. Ah, hold on. There's a seven in there. Does it show us anything about them sequential number? It does. Okay. So we can finish this off now as a seven, nine over here. Just don't know about the three and the four, but I'm going to put them back because I wasn't sure about the their orderings here. And I don't want to um, place them there and then later be like, uh, 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 I don't know what I did. Okay, so what have we got here? One, two, two, three, and we know three and four's gotta be there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a seven, eight. Seven, eight. Well, it's gotta be an eight here because we can't place the eight there because I mean it's on the palindrome there and we've already got an eight there. So we place eight there and a seven. There. Please, thank you. Seven, eight, which then gives us a seven on here. Okay. So we're still not sure about our three, six here. Uh, actually, we are because we've got a three in that top room. Three goes there, and a six will go here. Okay. We've got a one has got to be in here somewhere. One. Seven. So that's a one, it's a two and a four in there. Hold on, one. It's two. Two and four have got to be there. They could be on the palindrome. That would be two, four, eight. Uh, not a palindrome, the, the double digits, the recurrence. So well, it could be the other way around. Yeah, one, two, four. I don't think we can have, do anything else with a three, can we? Two, four, eight. We can't do an eight. Okay, so let's let's see if that's right. One, two, and a four. Okay, so that would give us... Four there at the top. One, two, three, four. 
five and six. Anything about the five and six. Only that we've got to go there. Five and six. Could brute force it, but I don't particularly want to. Five and six is there and there. Five, six. Anything else I can see from position? Can I rule out a five or a six anywhere else? Not really. Okay. I may just have to just have to place a, a number here. See what we get. Well, that's not right. Okay, so that's a six. I don't see any other way of working that out, though. If there is another way, please let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, never a fan of like brute forcing um, anything in Sudoku. It's, uh, it's not cool. All right, so we got uh, seven and a two. A four-digit palindrome here, which has to be either one, two, or a four. Two can't go there. Two could go there. That's a one or a four. One, two, four. If they're all there, that means this has got to be three, six. It's the only numbers that are left that can be doubled. If we've already taken out the one, two, and the four in this column, that's going to be a three, six, which will leave one, two, I'll leave the bottom number a seven, like so. Okay, well, three there. So then this becomes a six, and this becomes a three. There's our three, six, which means a three's got to run along here somewhere. Still not entirely sure where it's going to go in here. We haven't got enough information to fill those squares in at the moment. All that we know is that two, two can't be on the palindrome because uh, it can't go here and then there's nowhere it can sit here. So this leaves a one, four on the palindrome. One, two, three, four. That's a five, eight, nine on the bottom but again we don't have any information there as to how it might help us I, you know, I kind of feel like we're going to come down to brute forcing this palindrome Pause. it's a one and a four like this is a three and a four but if we could maybe work out one of these digits maybe then okay let's see if we can work out one of those digits and so that'll be a six that'll be a four threes can't go there there's nothing though is there Unless I can work out what goes in the top digits here. Can't be a one, two, three. Could be a four. A four, five. Can't have five, six. Can't have six, seven. Can't have seven, eight. Okay, so that's... Uh, f Did I say four, five? Yeah, I think that's four, five. Okay. Four, five. Okay, so if that's a four, then that brings a four down to here. Oh, okay, we've gone wrong somewhere. And I'm guessing it's going to come down to 
I mean, we know it's not a one and a four, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to brute force it. I want to like prove it out if I can. So let's think about this again. Can't be a one. Can't be a two. Can't be a three. Can be a four. Can't be a four because of the palindrome. Okay, can't be a four because of the palindrome. Five. Could be a five. But that can't be a six. But we could have a five six here. Five six that way around. Six. Can't be a seven. Can't be a six seven. It can't be a seven eight. Could be a nine eight. No. Nine eight. There could be a nine eight. Let's go for the five six, but I don't think that really helps me, does it? Six. It's three and four. One and four. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's put these back a minute. I've seen. We can do something with the palindrome. We can, because we got the one here, and we know that, that this is a one or a four. So then this becomes a one. This becomes a four. We can start to unwind this a little bit now. That becomes a three. That becomes a four. Back on the palindrome. We do a four at the top and a one at the bottom. Okay, so we've got a one, two, three, four, uh, seven, eight. So this can be a five, six, or an eight. Six or an eight. This could be a five to play with that six. Five. Five, eight, nine. So that's either a five, six, five, six. There's nothing at the top that can help me with this. Literally just got that seven. Seven, nine, six goes there and four goes there. Six, six can't go in there. Six can't go in there. So that has to be a six. Has to be a six. And can't be a seven. So it's got to be a five, right? Okay. Cool. Does that unlock the rest of the puzzle? Only 18 minutes into the solve here. Yes. Okay. So we have the full grid now to work with. Excellent. Okay, what are we missing in here? One, two, three can't go there, three can't go there, so a three has to go in bottom right here. Four, five, six, seven, so we've got eight, nine here, which we're not sure which way they go round, but that'll leave one, two. All right, let's finish the palindrome off, I suppose. Seven, six, four, and six, and four goes there. Sevens are in the bottom. We've got a five there, which is going to restrict a five in the top box here. We've got nines. What about that? We've got nines. Um, five. Nine's restricting there and there. So nine has to go in the middle box right there. It's going to force a nine at the top. And an eight is going to go next to this nine here. So that leaves a one, two, three. We've already got a one and a two there, so it's going to force a three in this bottom left. And a two to finish that box off. Okay, so then we've got one, two, three. One, four, seven, five, which we've already got a five there and a five there. So not sure what we can do there at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so six, seven, eight here. One, two, three, four, five. 
Six is broken, so that's eight, nine. This one's going to be six by the rule of the um, consecutive numbers because six is broken by the five and seven here, so we can't do that. We know it's eight, nine. We need a one. One, 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 one. Oh, we can finish this palindrome off, can't we? Yeah, that'll help us. Four, three. And then we've got consecutive numbers here, which are six, seven, eight. Seven's going to have to sit in the middle because it's consecutive numbers. We've got a seven in the middle, middle, and top, 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 top. So seven has got to go in this bottom corner here. And one, two, three. But one, two, three, fours. Fours got to go bottom corner here. So we've got one, two, th uh, one, two, three, and eight and nine at the top. Uh, waiting for an, waiting for a six and seven here. Seven's there, so that's. Oh, no, it's not six and seven. Sorry, it's a six and eight. Eight can go in any one of those spaces. Six is blocking that. So yeah, no, there's six. Six goes there. The eight goes there. Didn't see that nine before. That nine is going to restrict our entry to there. Leaves us with the one, two, three. Threes, one, two. They're all on separate lines at the moment. Actually, no, we've got a one. We have a one. Uh, we've got a two here. All right. Well, we've um, we have um, broken through the door, but let's finish off the puzzle because we've still got a box here, or two boxes, three boxes actually, which we have yet to complete. So we've got a one, two, four, five. That's going to be two, four. The five's going to have to go here. Uh, that means the four's going to have to go here because of consecutive numbers. The two's going to go here. The one's going to wind down to here. The eight's going to go in the middle because it's the only thing that's left that can be double. That, that four there, if you've ever got three of them together, it has to be those four digits. And that means we're going to have a six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine remaining. Can we place anything? Well, seven's at the bottom, so then a seven has to go at the top. It's there with a nine there. And what are we waiting for in here? A eight, nine. Nine's in the middle, eight's at the top. And nine. Nine's at the top. I think eight went in the middle in the previous box. So yes, we're gonna go that there. And then finally, the five is going to go there. Now I assume it's correct. Obviously we've already unlocked the door um, by solving box number seven. I think it's seven or is that box seven or three? Box three. Box three was just the, the answer to escape the room. But um, yeah, that was a that was a pretty interesting concept. I've never done like a three-dimensional Sudoku puzzle before. So yeah, it was very, very interesting indeed. I'll probably do a few more of these because I really did enjoy this one. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this, if you'd like to see more of this. And um, in general, if you'd like to see me play actually Escape Simulator on the channel as the actual game. So I said, this is not the game. I have not even touched the game. I've just jumped straight into some community content. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support as always. And until next time, I've been Noki. You've been awesome. Stay safe and happy gaming.